So I uh, guess I just want to explain myself and let you know about the week that I've had. My week started off like it usually did with us arguing about me leaving for so long and why I'd never tell you anything about my job. I got defensive and pointed to your frivolous spending as the reason why I go away for so long. But that's not the case. I took the job, so I got myself into it. You also said I have a problem with the truth. These words stuck in my mind the entire trip. As I was walking down the street, I could feel the burden of our constant arguing weighing on me. You deserve better, Diana. And I know it. And that's why I never said anything when you started seeing my best friend Berg behind my back. He's a great guy. I trust him with my life. I guess I just couldn't trust him with my wife. <laughs> I got to work and Larry was hanging about in the hallway like usual. He tried to strike up a conversation, but I wasn't in the mood for it, so I brushed him. As I got in, the boss chucked me a hard drive. He said we had three ships down in different quadrants, and three fleets ready to go to war. All I had to do was go and examine the crash sites, tick the boxes, and okay the invasion. So first I went to the 22nd planet of the 5th quadrant and got to work searching the ship. If it had been shot down, why wasn't it in a million pieces? Even the engine seemed fully fine, but the handbrake was on. The handbrake should have stopped them before they hit the ground. That's what they're for. Anyway, I had two more crashes to look at so I didn't put much thought into it. And that's when I got your message that you'd had enough and you were leaving, which is understandable considering all the arguing that we did, but it made me think of all the different avenues I could have taken to avoid things reaching that point. Maybe if we'd taken that vacation I'd been putting off for so long we may still be together. But oh well, I couldn't dwell on it for too long because I still had work to do. As I got to the 4th planet in the 7th quadrant, I noticed there was someone from another agency removing something from the ship. A programming droid. I hadn't thought to check the droid of the other crash, and he seemed reluctant to hand it over. But after a brief discussion, he decided it was probably for the best if I took the droid to further my investigation. Government work is a terrible job. I wish I had told you about this sooner, Diana. As I was leaving that quadrant, my handbrake seemed to fail on me, causing me to hit an asteroid belt and plummet into the gravitational pull of a nearby planet. After a bit of a bumpy landing, I climbed out unscathed with the droid's hard drive in my pocket. This planet was beautiful, Diana. It would have made a nice vacation spot. In the distance, I noticed some type of structure, so I made my way up there. The bottom floor seemed to be pretty eroded, so I checked upstairs and found a computer. I checked the code in on the drive and found that the droids had been programmed to make the handbrakes fail. So I called my old pal Berg at the news desk to come see me and I got some rest while I waited. I woke up to Berg charging into the room. I explained to him that the government was causing these crashes themselves and we had to get the word out. Then he stared me dead in the eyes and said, You should have just minded your own business.
So now I lay here dying from a gunshot while I leave you this voicemail, Diana. At least now you know the truth. <laughs>